Hi, my name is Rimpa Sarkar and tomorrow, that's 15th of March, is World Sleep Day. So today we'll be talking about those signs which can tell us that we are not getting enough sleep. For human body, sleep is as important as food and water, but many of us don't get enough sleep. Insufficient sleep, inadequate quality of sleep or disruptions to the sleep-wake cycle have consequences for how we function in daytime. Lack of sleep, whether it occurs over the short or long period of time, can lead to some characteristic symptoms. These symptoms can be sleepiness, impaired memory, complaints of pain, or sometimes they complain of some form of hallucinations. It may also result in decreased alertness, excessive daytime sleepiness, compromised daytime abilities like low performance, and major long-time health issues such as weight gain, increased risk of heart disease, reduced immune system, and greater risk of depression and anxiety. So let's talk about all the signs which can tell us maybe we are not getting enough sleep. First is moody. Being irritable, moody or depressed is a sign that you are having sleeping trouble. Anxiety and depression are often linked to insomnia. But even if you don't have trouble falling asleep, your emotional health is still affected by sleep deprivation. Second is unproductive. Sleep deprivation can affect our motivation and productivity levels more than they should. So if you have ever gotten out of the bed thinking you can't wait for the day to be over so you can get back in it, chances are you are not getting enough sleep. Third is gaining weight. A lack of sleep can lead you to increase appetite and unhealthy snacking. If we sleep less than 6 hours, the hormone leptin is reduced which helps to suppress our appetite. Not only this, there is higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Fourth is sleepiness. If you find yourself yawning every half hour or needing coffee after coffee to get through the day, that's an indication you need to be getting more sleep at night. Fifth is forgetful. Sleeping helps our brains process information learned throughout the day. It also gives our brain a chance to refresh and organize itself. Without that, the time to process information and our performance very next day will be lacking. Next is stress by small things. If daily small frustrations push you over the edge when they would normally be something to brush off, you may be not getting enough sleep. A healthy sleep schedule is important for managing stress and remaining level-headed. Last is lack of energy. If a lack of energy or desire is keeping you away from normal level of intimacy and that can be due to increased level of stress and tension. That's an indication that you need some good sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, there's only one way to compensate and that's getting more sleep. It won't happen with a single early night. If you have had months of restricted sleep, so expect recovery to take several weeks. Starting on a weekend, try to add on an extra hour or two of sleep a night. The way to do this is to go to bed when you're tired and allow your body to wake up in the morning without alarm. Expect to sleep for 10 hours a night at first. After a while, the amount of time you sleep will gradually decrease to a normal level. If you still cannot see any improvement after a few weeks, then consult a physician or a psychiatrist for treatment. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any topic or questions related to mental health, you can put it down below in the comment box or you can email me as well. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. I'll be back with a new video next week, so stay tuned. Till then, wish you all a healthy mind and a happy life. Bye-bye.